Good morning and welcome to the Craigie Boy YouTube channel. Here's what's coming up on today's episode. Graham shows us the perfect trim. I get caught out neglecting the Navara. And Graham takes off for the day. So make sure that you don't miss out, just be there We're taking our shot, bring what you got We're going all the way to the top So like I said in the intro, Graham's planning on leaving us early this morning You can maybe hear that I'm a little bunged up with the cold It's kind of been that way since I got back from my holiday And for those of you that would like to see my holiday I'm putting a video up next week for you guys to see So I hope you enjoy Anyway, that's Kevin arrived so we're going to get set up and get heading off to the farm. See you guys there. So there's only about 20 cows to do today. Graham's meant to be taking off and leaving things for me and Kevin to finish up. Yeah. Graham's leaving early and let me and Kevin finish up the last few cows. He's got a prior engagement and we're more than happy to continue on and let him get away. After all, that is why he hired us. Thankfully as well that the cow's feet here are pretty darn good so we've got nothing to worry about. There's no major issues. Excuse me! Hey! Hello! Thank you! <sighs> well, she's pretty much said it all. Time to get on with the work. Craig, you know how I borrowed your pickup this morning? Yeah. What do you think? Oil pressure low, warning oil level low, engine management risk. Yep. What do you think all those lights mean? I think they all mean that the pickup's pretty much F to the A. No, it doesn't mean there's something wrong with the pickup. No? Huh? It means you put oil in the pickup. But Graham, do you not remember about a month or two ago I mentioned to you that the pickup was saying it needed oil? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you put oil in it? <laughs> This is pretty much the perfect camera angle I could show you guys to see exactly how organised we are when it comes to trimming. Graham on the back feet, Kevin on one front foot, now I'm on the other. And we worked so well together. If Kevin's busy putting a number in or getting a bandage or something else, I'll set up the next cow ready to go in the crush straight after the other one goes out. It's a pretty harmonious work ethic. And I know there's an odd comment about lifting all four feet as if the cow is flying in the air, but you'd have to lift the back foot anyway in order to trim the front foot with this crush. Because if you don't and you're trimming that front foot, you run the risk of getting kicked by the back foot. So really it's quite ideal to have all the feet up in the air. That way the cow has no chance of kicking you in the back while you're trying to trim. Uh -huh. I have no idea. They must have caught on this when they did it. Uh, 
Now because the boom for the electric cable for our crush kind of moved while it was lifting up and down and has managed to catch on a little metal piece of the shed and snapped it. Thankfully it's not a big issue, we have had this happen before, so it's just a case of slotting it back in and we'll deal with it later on. As long as we have power, we can crack on. Sometimes you can see by this white cow that's behind me that they really do not want to go in the crush. As she's walking up the race, she's decided I'm not going any further and she's put the brakes on. And now she's decided to back up. But the best way to get cows to go into the crush is one after the other. If you have that cow right behind the crush, she sees the cow in front heading on out, so she follows that cow. They're herding animals, so they like to be together. For example, the cow behind her wants to follow her, so she's pushing her right forward and into our gate. So the best thing to do with this cow is just to let her go back a bit so that she can relax, and hopefully she'll still go in quite easily. That's why working around cows can be a very dangerous job. You've got to be on your toes and stay alert to make sure that you're not in the line of fire when a cow decides to jump or kick. How's everyone today? Quite like the Cute Peggy Boy YouTube channel because it's a bit more relaxed, isn't it? A bit, a bit less formal if that makes any sense.
gooseneck, some dates. Uh, when you get there, I'd put the back gates that don't have the stand on it onto this, extend it, but leave the wheels on so you can get it into the exact right place. And then you want the guillotine gate just. And just for you guys at home that are wondering what the heck Graham is talking about, he's just trying to inform me and Kevin of the best way to set up for our farm tomorrow, as he won't be there. As close to step as you can get it. Yeah, and then tie the other two up. If that still isn't better, we'll tell them we'll take all, we'll take every gate next time. But it should, like, should and just tell the them there should be a cow but beyond the guillotine gate every single time. Yeah. And that's in that next time. Yeah. Yeah, totally. He did say, I'll text him again just to totally remind him, but he did say he'd have less, like, because if I would be there. So I should just mention. So that's Graham getting ready to go. He's left us with a ah, hell of a lot of cows. Try to watch my French there. See them all? Is that you going there, Graham? What French were you going to say? Uh, some nice French words. Like, like what? Like, uh, uh, anyway, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving them to it. Look, I said I'll come down and help you to get started with the cows. Look how many there are left for them to do. I do that. We'll go and get the next group. Yeah. I'll go and get the next group, all right, uh, yeah. I've 40 left, haven't I? <laughs> plenty of water near flat. Right, right, I better go. All right, see you later. Bye, Bye Graham. So all me and Kevin have to do is pack up, wash up, and head on back to Graham's to drop the crush off. <laughs> and then that's us done for the day. Pretty easy one. Oh, I'm glad to get home because it is miserable outside and I still feel very bunged up with the cold. So, until next time guys, catch you later.